the Zenfone 5Z from Asus and the Galaxy S9. Uh, this is obviously coming with a very flagship processor, so I'm guessing it should be able to compare with the uh, flagship level uh, overall, but it does cost like nearly half the price, so uh, that it is interesting to see how it will compare here. Uh, there are some downgrades obviously when you compare against the top end flagship. Uh, you're not going to get obviously OLED display. Uh, you're going to have to deal with the notch and some people don't enjoy that. And also I don't think it's fully waterproof and IP68. Uh, so those are the things you do get with your Galaxy S9 as well as uh, 1.5 aperture camera which is very good in low light. Uh, but I think overall you can see here in terms of display very competitive here uh, considering the price. You even have got some really nice uh, wallpapers as you can see with the Asus uh, laptop effect. Very nice touch that is actually. Uh, on the Zenfone 5Z. This is a 4 gig RAM model so very comparable here to the S9 and we're just going to open up some apps. We have fully updated them both and they're both on the performance mode uh, which you can turn on here in the battery settings. I didn't notice that so no excuses and let's start with some basic apps. So we are running uh, Exynos uh, S9 here in Europe, which so far is proving to be a right one when it comes to not performing. Definitely doesn't feel as snappy as the other phones here uh, when you consider you know where uh, the Snapdragon 845, I think Qualcomm did an amazing job uh, with the 845 and the 835 although last year's Exynos was pretty good as well so with the uh, top end handset you are also going to get HDR technology which I don't think you get with the uh, like you know budget flagship there are some small things that you do get here for shelling out still and you can see the real kind of deep blacks here on the games but still you know I'm seeing the Zenfone 5Z is dominating the S9 here which is uh, very uh, unfortunate really but then again I didn't really enjoy the S9 I think the sales hasn't been that good this year so they're probably going to get the Note 9 out quite quickly to compensate let's check out the speakers here So you can see very nice quick load here and the speaker sound remarkably loud uh, on the single firing one at the bottom there. Uh, so very nice and punchy. Let's have a look at your speed test, Wi-Fi test. Start with the S9, just going to open the door. So I got a straight line to my router and you can see S9 doing pretty well here, going really good towards the end. Maybe the Zenfone will perform. I think this is the first Zenfone with like a flagship processor as well. I mean the Intel processor back in the day was pretty good with the Zenfone 2 but the battery life was horrible as I remember. Uh, then they had the Zenfone 3 with the more mid-range kind of processor 
So this is, uh, you know, like a first here for Asus, affordable handset with very flagship processor. But you can see, I do think the Wi-Fi, you know, whatever they're using there doesn't seem to be up to par really with what you can get. Still giving me the very small amount of reception here. So that's a possible weak point of the device overall. Upload seems to be pretty good though. So do bear that in mind. Let's have a look as well at the web browsing. Uh, we can just go to Verge. Go. Can't stand all these pop-ups since uh, that G thing. They're just on every website, it just ruins the internet. So a bit mixed here, I think the Zenfone did well at first and then the S9 came back. And we do have Tech Radar. Yeah, you see, pop up after pop up after pop up. It's just a nightmare. It really is truly a nightmare. But then again, it's not hard to dismiss. Uh, I think Zenfone is doing pretty well for the the web browsing here, even though the Wi-Fi is not very strong. It seems to still, you know, pick up uh, the page pretty quickly. IGN. As you can see, very nice performance here. Let's try your multitasking. Can the S9 recover? Whoops. So let's go back to the first one. So reload on the right there. And that is a weird app. It kind of just overlays. Could that judder on the S9, man? Mine is just running like anything. I've reset it as well, you know. I completely reset it. And it still runs terrible overall. Maybe if you stump up for the S9 Plus, it will have better performance. Well, I just wish you'd go back to the S7 Edge kind of way because it seems to be a better way of doing it. Like having the same hardware across multiple sizes, except for the battery, obviously. So, comfortable victory here for the Zen phone, which is like, as I said, nearly half the price. Uh, if you're looking for your performance, I'd definitely go for the Zenfone here overall. Getting slightly bigger display, dual camera, and very nice design indeed. I think Asus has really uh, hit it this year when it comes to the budget flagship. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here with the S9. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.